What's up guys, my name is TechNumber here for Troubleshoot and today I've got more of an update video for you on Grand Theft Auto 5. So if you've been following my videos recently, especially the modding ones, I keep talking about Script Hook 5 needing to be updated to work with the Epic Game Store. And finally, that time has arrived. If we head across to this GTA 5 mods page where we usually downloaded Script Hook 5 and Native Trainer, if we hit the download button, we'll get taken across to Alexander Blade's website where we can go ahead and download the release that was released just a few hours ago. So today I'll show you how you can replace your existing Script Hook 5, possibly a workaround one, with the existing one over here. And I'll probably get into a couple more modding videos. This is more of just an update video because a lot of people have subscribed to my channel and they're expecting this sort of video to come out. So here it is. I'll click download and we'll download the zip. Opening it up. It looks basically the same as the other zips we've downloaded, but opening up the README, you can see it's version 1.0.1868.4. This is the most updated one that works with the Epic Games Store. Scrolling down to the changelog, as you can see, and its support for EGS version, the Epic Games Store. And that's exactly what we've been waiting on this version for. Now it is officially supported, meaning that a lot of mods that didn't work with previous workarounds should now be working perfectly as you'd expect. Opening up the bin folder over here, we have these three familiar files. All we need to do is head across to where Grand Theft Auto 5 is installed. For most people, that'll be C Program Files 86, Epic Games, followed by GTA V. Though, I've got mine on a different disk. Heading across there now, this is the game folder over here. As long as you see GTA 5.exe, we're in the correct directory. In order to install a script hook 5, just drag and drop the files out of the zip into the folder. And of course, if you ask to replace anything, just hit yes. Now that everything's nice and updated, things should work properly. FPS should be improved if you're having issues with that, because now this is an official supported version released by the actual creator of the DLL himself. And of course, if you're using a different trainer like menu, you'll have to go ahead and remove the native trainer ASI that we just added to the folder. From here, you can continue modding to your heart's content now that things have updated properly. This page over here still shows a workaround as a pinned comment, though I would assume this will change in a few hours. So anyway, with that little bit out of the video, that was how to replace Script Hook 5 with the latest official release. This video was more of just an updated video for those of you who subscribed, waiting for this video to come out, and well, here it is. If you'd like to see how to mod Grand Theft Auto 5, check the description down below for links to videos on those, and hopefully I'll have even more coming out soon. Even though this channel doesn't completely center around Grand Theft Auto 5, I'm doing a ton of content for it currently, so if you do have any requests for any videos, make sure to leave them down in the comments below, and I'll probably get around to doing them. Anyways, my name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. This has been a crazy week filled with workarounds, etc. And now that we finally have an official release, things are going to be a lot easier. Thank you all for sticking around. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.